If you've ever seen the Millennium Prize problems, then you may have seen the Riemann hypothesis and its immense link to the study of prime numbers. Or perhaps you've seen the zeta function in other contexts, such as the probability for s numbers to be coprime. For some, you may have only seen it in the context of the Basel problem. This is going to be a deep look into what I consider to be the most important unsolved problem in pure mathematics. The root of the zeta function can all be found when Euler used it as notation to describe the sum of the reciprocals of the natural numbers to the power of some s, which is inputted into the function. Euler went on to solve the Basel problem, a problem posed by Pietro Mengoli in 1650 that involves the infinite sum of the reciprocals of the squares, and it was named the Basel problem after Euler's hometown after he miraculously showed that it had a closed form expression of pi squared over 6. With this accomplishment, Euler soon discovered that his method worked on other even powers. He originally discovered this by using the Weierstrass factorization of sine x and its Maclaurin series. He came up with a formula involving the Bernoulli numbers that produce closed forms for any positive even s inputted into the zeta function. Now we know countless methods to get closed forms, such as the Fourier series and Riemann's functional equation. But you may be now wondering, what about odd powers? Well, even here Euler was weak. We have no method that works to produce a closed form to zeta 3, for example, which is known as Apery's constant, which is due to Roger Apery proving that it is irrational. However, his method fails in the other odd powers. All known methods to produce even powered closed forms fail for odd powers due to countless reasons. For instance, Euler's method produces the polygamma function that does produce the correct answer, but not so much a closed form. Riemann's functional equation fails as it produces a trivial zero and the gamma function does not produce a pole. Parseval's theorem no longer holds for odd values, the Fourier series fails. Clearly, we need a new method to tackle the odd powers. We know very little about the odd powers and I feel like it should be a point of interest for mathematicians. We know, for instance, that at least one of zeta 5, 7, 9 and 11 is irrational, but we don't know which. On to the million dollar problem that is the Riemann hypothesis. If you were to look at the number line and were asked to start pointing out the prime numbers, what would you see? To most people, the distribution of prime numbers is random with different gaps between them. There appears to be no common difference to the ratio between them, however, Riemann spotted that if you modify Gauss's counting function, pi of x, to jump up by lin of that prime instead of 1, the zeta zeros produce a harmonic that approximates this function. With every zero added, the harmonic improves, and Riemann showed that if you included all infinite zeros, the harmonic would be a perfect match, showing a further link between the primes and the zeta function. Riemann showed that all non-trivial zeros lie in between the real components of s equals 0 and s equals 1. He hypothesized that all non-trivial zeros lie bang on in between a real component of s equals half, and if proven true, would be one of the greatest achievements in modern mathematics. However, there is far more that I did not include in this video about the zeta function and its link to other functions, such as other L functions and constants. I argue that we should become a collective and try to solve the many mysteries that the zeta function contains, as it could immersely expand the knowledge of maths and science. For this, I have taken the initiative to create a Discord server called Zeta at Home, which is where myself and many experienced mathematicians and programmers will work together to try to crack the mysteries of the zeta function, and we would love to have you on board. The link is in the description below.